Hello everyone and welcome to Where Did the Money Go? This is where I talk about literally where the money went. But I wanted to take this time to talk about my cash envelopes, my new savings challenge, and how I plan on using everything moving forward. You might have seen the March plan with me where I showed the completion of my old savings challenge and I also showed what the new one looks like. So this is actually when I put it together. Now that we know the consistency can happen, it's time to really challenge ourselves. And by ourselves, I mean myself. And by myself, I mean no free space on the bingo. I need to be more aggressive with how much I'm saving. And for those of you that have no idea what's happening here and why this is going to be a thing, I am using any and every method that is sheer entertainment for me and also keeps me motivated and excited to save even though this money is going towards debt. So all of the money that you see me saving here will go to a debt payoff. For now, that's what it's gonna be. But later on, it will just be a savings challenge and then the money will be dispersed throughout different envelopes that I have. done very nice very nice now it's time to get into my budget breakdown it's a template that I created for myself um, to break down my bills or my monthly expenses on a bi-weekly basis in a perfect world I will fill it out and go by it but some months are better than others and I'm just presenting it in this video to get back in the swing of things. The emergency fund, the e-fund is getting $15 and that is going into my high yield savings. So some of these things are already transferred. Next we have $80 for BMF. BMF is blow money fast. That is something that I've always called it. It is my guilt-free spending and I've already spent it. That little A up there is for Amazon. I bought a lot of books. Let's stop talking about it. Okay, car maintenance, we have $60. That could be for a tire. That could be part of an oil chain for any kind of maintenance, registration, or anything, car washes. We have 110 for the groceries. Let's hope I'm close to that. $50 for holidays. It's going to be my sister's baby shower that I'm putting money towards. We have $100 for home. We have $15 for medical. We have $50 for personal, which is like hair, body care, any waxes, pedicures, nails, that sort of thing. My debt that I'm paying off, $200 is in an account for that or in my envelope. I haven't decided. Lil PG is my goddaughter. She's getting $16. And for savings, I've already put it into my high yield savings, 137. And we have 50 for taxes, which not a fan, but whatever. Travel, we have 20, just, you know, starting off small. And that is already in my high yield savings. So it will build on itself. Okay, time to get to the fun part, counting the cash. While I'm getting this cash together, can I just say there is a very strong possibility that a couple of friends maybe got together and possibly planned a trip to go somewhere later on in this year? I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. That's the word on the street. We are so far. I mean, the people are so far into the plans. Location has been picked. The hotel has been picked. The dates have been picked, but I'm just saying it sounds like it's up in the air. I'm not sure, can't confirm, but there's a possibility there's a trip out there somewhere in 2023 to a place 
that who shall not be named does not have a stamp to. I'm just saying. The cash envelopes as well as the cash breakdown sticky notes, they're from Papery Planning. Love them, need to reorder some of the sticky notes. Wait, I haven't done this in so long. I'm like, something looks a bit off. Why is the cash box here and no cash in it? Yeah, put the money up. Come on now. I Bear with me in my time of need. It's been a while. Okay, now that I got BMF out of the way, let's go ahead and put the money up so that we can properly distribute it because it's cleaner this way. You know what I mean? Okay, in my cash box, the hundreds and fifties don't have a home. So let's go ahead and distribute that money now. So the hundreds are going to go to the debt. Let's go ahead and pull that. And anything that I accumulate for my savings challenge, that goes towards the debt payoff as well. Then we have the fifties. One of the fifties is going to holiday. And then another 50 is going to home. And I have another 50 for taxes. One, two, three, four. And one is going to groceries. So let's go ahead and do taxes since that one doesn't have any additional money going towards it. Cool, cool, cool. You got some money. Don't speak to me. <laughs> uh, next, I have holidays. And that is getting a single 50. Cool. So let's see what else. Home. Let's go for home. Since home is getting a hundred, we're going to do fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred. Love that then we might as well come in and do groceries because groceries gets the other 50 and I need to go grocery shopping after this. 70, 90, 100, 110. All right, back to the top. Car, 20, 40, 50, 60. And just a reminder, the money that you're putting in the envelopes, it's not to say that this is all you need, this is all that you'll be using for a certain thing. Instead of waiting for your payday to shell out $100 towards tires or towards your alignment or towards your oil change, at least you have $60 now and then you'll only need 40 when you get paid. You'll be closer to whatever the bill is car related than you were just shelling it out from one paycheck. So that's a way to think about it. That's what I try and tell myself. <laughs> okay, next we have... I want to just jump right in here and say this video might end abruptly like no goodbyes, but I will see you soon. Medical, I like putting fives in medical. I don't know why, it's just what I like, and it's getting all of the fives. Five, 10, 15. And then lastly, we should have $16 for PG. 10, 16. Because what I want to do is only put eight at a time, but I figured I would double it this time, so now she has 16 in here. The savings challenge, that is already transferred. What else? We have holidays, we have the debt. Personal is being transferred to another account. Medical has 15, home has 100, groceries has 110, 
car has 60 and the emergency fund is going to be sent to my high yield savings as well.